Welcome to part three of my Canva EDU series. Now I'm going to show you how to publish those amazing creations you've come up with. So a couple of tips before you publish your creation. There's a number of ways that you can download or share your designs. So I'm in my, this is my YouTube designs uh, right here where I do my different thumbnails for each of the videos, including the one you're watching right now. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you a couple of things. I can actually go in here and I can scale this in or out so I can check it out close up. I can also go down here to this grid view and I can double check my design. So as you can see, I have a number of YouTube. These are previous videos y'all have checked out, hopefully. Uh, and if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel so you're notified of future ones. But notice I have the ones I'm working on here. Oh, look, sneak peek. You can see the upcoming topics for the rest of the Canvas series. So right here, I can check out these. And when I choose to download these, so I'm going to go back out of grid view. If I want to download this, I can choose download and I've got some options. So if I've got any animated features, I can download it as a video because I put some animations in here because I also use these thumbnails as Twitter posts. So I might use it as an animated GIF to catch attention when you're scrolling through Twitter. So I can go in here and I can choose all of the pages or some of the pages. So I can export these one at a time or I can export it all at once. If I export it all at once as images, it's going to give me a zipped file to extract all those files. I just want to download this one image that goes to this one, which is on publishing. I can click that and I can say download. Simple enough. I can change the format. I want it to be a PNG, JPEG, or a PDF. This comes in handy. So if you're designing something that has interactive links, you, so you can add in hyperlinks. Download it as an SVG, which allows you to bring it into another graphic design tool, or it's going to be great for on a website so that no matter what size the image is, when you scale it up or down, it looks great. I can also export as an animated GIF, which is that video look, but without any sounds. All these different options. I'm going to choose PNG and I'm going to download that one image right there. So it's download Loading real quick. Now I have a couple other ways that I can export things. So I, if I choose to download it, that means I'm saving it here. But if I go to the three dots here, we always know if we go to three dots more, that's all the magic. I can choose to push it as an assignment in Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams. In a future video, I'm going to talk about how you set up your classes and how you can use this to create assignments. So you can push out activities and push out templates as well. I can share this via Remind, any, another LMS. I can share the link. I can present it. I can go in here, present and record. That's again going to be a future video where we uh, level up and show how you can do that. I can push it out to Instagram and I can even choose to print it. So I've got all of these options that I can use to export and print my creation. So depending on what you're designing, pick the best way to push that resource out, whether it's downloading, exporting it or sharing it to a uh, third party app, whether it's Google Classroom, Teams or somewhere else. If you want to learn a little bit more and some other ways you can use Canva, check out the next video where I'm going to be talking about some level up ideas. Thanks for watching.